From WRAL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus News Brief for Monday, March 29th. I'm Brian Schrader. The rest of Group 4 becomes eligible for the vaccine in North Carolina this week. Governor Roy Cooper announced the state would be accelerating access to have all adults eligible for the vaccine by April 7th. That's nearly a full month ahead of President Biden's May 1st goal. Beginning on Wednesday, additional essential workers and people living in other congregate settings, such as student dorms, will be eligible. WRL's Kirsten Gutierrez explains why experts believe we're moving so quickly and how parents feel about vaccinating their teenagers. Vaccination rollout continues at a steady pace across our nation, prompting Governor Roy Cooper to move up the timeline for the rest of Group 4 and Group 5. Duke infectious disease expert Dr. Cameron Wolf tells us it's a balancing act. This was all decided around a balance between um, rolling out vaccine quickly, uh, prioritizing who should get it, and having a, a sort of not just a supply, but a prediction of a supply. He says with J&J's vaccine now on the market, there's a better supply chain. At last check, more than 2.5 million North Carolinians have had their first dose. More than 1.6 million are fully vaccinated, with a total of 4.1 million people who've received their shot. The new timeline means those 16 and older can sign up for their spot beginning April 7th. While some parents, like Kate Barron, are eager to sign up her high schoolers. I want them to be able to work and contribute to the community and be healthy while doing it. Others, like Margie Rydell, worry about the potential long-term effects. So I've got two high schoolers, and they're not interested in getting the shot. And as a mother, I'm not interested in having them get the shot yet. Dr. Wolf stresses the vaccine is safe for high schoolers and urges worried parents to reconsider. What happens at high school? Our kids want to get together. They want to hang out. They want to get back to some form of normalcy. This helps them do that. That was WRL's Kristen Gutierrez reporting. Wake County is expanding COVID testing opportunities at local parks this week ahead of the holiday weekend. If you need a test, you can go to Sanderford Road Park, Fleming Loop Park, and Wake Med Soccer Park through Thursday, testing hours 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. We appreciate you listening and a little plug here. Don't forget you can listen to complete WRL newscasts in podcast form. Subscribe to WRAL News Daily wherever you listen to podcasts. We post five newscasts each weekday and two on the weekends. You get all the news, weather, and sports just like you get on TV, but in easy, convenient audio form. Just search WRAL News Daily. For the Coronavirus News Brief, I'm Brian Schrader.